your brassware has got tarnished. It's not shining any longer. The toilets and the bathroom wash basins also require some cleaning. So what will you do? Of course, there are so many ads going on. You can buy things like Harpic and Sanifresh. Or you can also use some other things. Just like you can use some tamarind juice, lime juice and so on. Now, what is common between these things? Whether it is Harpic or it is lime juice, tamarind juice. or say vinegar, even curd. Now these are most of the things that we use at home. The moment we have used them, everything starts shining. What is that magical power in them that things start shining? Yes, you have rightly guessed. They all have acids. So whatever salts get deposited on the metals which make them look dull, mostly the oxides, sometimes also carbonates and sulphides like in the case of copper it is carbonate and in the case of silver it is sulphide. They get cleaned by acid. But of course we use mild acids. You can directly also use acid but you, you have seen the ads how they say that harpic is better than acid. I really do not know whether it is better or not. But yes, acid can be dangerous. If it falls on you, it can burn your tissue, even your clothes. It can make those big bad holes. So these are the acids. Now these four things, of course, harpic you will not taste. What is the common taste between all these things? Of course, in varying degree. They are all sour in taste. Aces are also sour in taste. So that is correct. But if you are given hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid or nitric acid, will you ever dare to taste them? Certainly not. Because they are such strong acids that they will burn your tongue. Then how do we come to know whether they are acids or not? From their smell or from some other agents. Yeah, that reminds me. There are some reagents which help us to test acids and even bases. These natural substances are called indicators. Some of the common indicators are litmus solution, Methyl orange, phenophthalene, and even turmeric solution, normal turmeric that we use for making food. All these are indicators, they help us to identify acids and bases. You know this litmus solution we get from an organism called lichen. Now this lichen you studied in bio in class 9 is actually a combination of two plants algae and fungi which live in a symbiotic relationship. They grow over other plants. Then there is methyl orange and there is phenophthalene and turmeric solution of course we get from turmeric, the normal haldi that we use in cooking. Now with the help of these indicators, we can identify acids. Let us see how do we do that. 